welcome back to my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe my TikTok page. Thank you so much. Hello students, happy learning. Our topic for today is factoring general trinomials. Our objective, find the factors of a general trinomials in the form of x squared minus bx plus c by using the math breaker map. In the first example, we have x squared minus 7x plus c. Take note, this is in the form of x squared minus bx plus c wherein the sign of the middle term is negative. So for the step one, we have to identify the first term of the trinomial, that is x squared. The second step is to identify the numerical coefficient of the middle term of the trinomial, that is negative seven. The third step is to identify the last term of the trinomial, that is six. The fourth step is to determine a pair of integers whose product is equal to the last term, which is 6, and whose sum is equal to the coefficient of the middle term, which is negative 7. Therefore, we have pairs of integers negative 1 and negative 6, because when you multiply negative 1 times negative 6, the product is positive 6. And also, when you add negative 1 plus negative 6, the sum is negative 7. They are both satisfied. For step 5, determine the factors of the first term. We have x times x. And for the last step, is to express as a product of the difference of two terms by copying our answers from steps 4 and 5. That is quantity x minus 1 times quantity x minus 6. How can we check if our obtained factored form is correct or not? When you multiply the quantity x minus 1 times quantity x minus 6, the result should be equal to the given general trinomials x squared minus 7x plus 6. Therefore, our factors are correct. Let's have another example. We have x squared minus 13x plus 40. Take note, this is in the form of x squared minus bx plus c, wherein the sign of the middle term is negative. Take note of that. The first step is to identify the first term of the trinomial, that is x squared. The second step is to identify the numerical coefficient of the middle term of the trinomial, that is negative 13. The third step is to identify the last term of the trinomial, that is 40. The fourth step is to determine a pair of integers whose product is equal to the last term, which is 40, and whose sum is equal to the coefficient of the middle term, which is negative 13. Therefore, a pair of integers we have negative 5 and negative 8 because when you multiply negative 5 times negative 8 the product is positive 40 and also when you add negative 5 and negative 8 the sum is negative 13 they are both satisfied for step 5 determine the factors of the first term that is x times x and for the last step is to express as a product of the difference of two terms by copying our answers from steps 4 and 5. That is quantity x minus 5 times quantity x minus 8. How can we check if our obtained factored form is correct or not? When you multiply the quantity x minus 5 times quantity x minus 8, the result should be equal to the given general trinomial x squared minus 13x plus 40. Therefore, our factors are correct. Now let's test your understanding. You are going to find the factors of the general trinomials by completing the steps. The given is x squared minus 9x plus 14. You only have 10 seconds to answer. Ready? Go.
Time's up. Let's check your answer. For step one, we have x squared. For step two, we have negative nine. For step three, we have 14. Step four, we have a pair of integers. We have negative two and negative seven. For step five, that is x times x. And for the factored form or the last step, we have quantity x minus two times quantity x minus seven. Did you get the answer? Okay, very good. Let's have another. The given is x squared minus 11x plus 30. Timer starts now. Time's up. Let's check your answer. For step 1, we have x squared. Step 2, we have negative 11. Step 3, that is 30. For step 4, we have a pair of integers, negative 5 and negative 6. For step 5, that is x times x. And for the factored form or the last step, we have quantity x minus 5 times quantity x minus 6. Did you get the answer? Okay, very good. Now I am happy that you learned how to find the factors of the general trinomials by using the math breaker map. Till next time.